Today we're here with the fourth annual release of Devil's Trumpet Heaven's Court. So Heaven's Court is a Russian Imperial Stout that is aged in four roses barrels for a blend of six to 12 months. Yep. Uh, they use El Popular Mexican Chocolate, which is absolutely delicious, and you'll get a, a whole lot of that in this beer. It's very chocolatey. It's amazing. And they also use Dark Matter Coffee, the Unicorn Blood Expression Beans. Uh, yes. So all kinds of goodness going on in here. Uh, Tons. If you know us, we love Devil's Trumpet. We absolutely love this beer. It is 16.5% ABV, and you really can't tell when you're drinking it. You oh, can't. Yeah. It's basically non-existent, and that's amazing. And there was a little bit of controversy I saw online, but directly from the brewer's mouth, this is 16.5% this year. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, you're drinking this, you're going along, and it's like, holy crap, what am I drinking? <laughs> And we drink it fast, sadly. Yeah. <laughs> when we're doing these videos, you know, we do it a couple times here and there because we mess up and stuff. We want to give you the best we can. So, a little bit more. This is, you know, kind of what we do every day. Not every day, but every week for you guys. You're right. And we wouldn't mind doing it every day, but. <laughs> right. But this is absolutely my all-time favorite Indiana release. I don't know. Frankly, this tops Dark Lord for me. As yeah. I don't think it's just me, to be honest. But. Right, it's absolutely delicious. You won't know until you try it, though. You gotta get one from us. Yeah, Dark Matter Coffee. Have you ever had Dark Matter Coffee by them by itself? You can go online, I think, mm -hmm. and order their coffee. Order some. Because anybody that uses this in their beer, which is basically Devil's Trumpet and Three Floyds, it's always phenomenal. And I love it. And El Popular Mexican Chocolate is out of this world, to be quite honest. It pours a beautiful, beautiful motor oil, motor oil black. <laughs> Basically, no head to it. And if you smell it, that's a massive amount of chocolate-covered booze. I don't get a whole lot of bourbon to it. Maybe a little bit, but not a whole lot. What I get is booze and chocolate. And that's really crazy because when you taste it, That booze is almost non-existent in this. And it's great because it really lets the fudgy, chewy mouthfeel come out in it. And you get some of the great oaky characteristic without the booze being the predominant flavor profile. Yes. You get some really great back-end sweetness to it. I already drank my it's, all. <laughs> it's frankly my favorite beer, I think. I've had a couple years worth. The red wax was 2015, gold was 2016, white was last year, and then this year's yellow. So if you have some of those vintage ones, get you a four pack of this, pull them out, and do you a tasting because I think this is the best year for it. I think so. It's absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. We're always super excited to work with Devil's Trumpet, and as long as we keep selling a bunch of stuff, we can keep getting a bunch of stuff. <laughs> yes, yeah, so reserve yours today.